time, no see, like for real. I have not done a sit down video in probably months, to be honest. I actually had to go back the other day and look and see when the last time was I even put up some sort of a vlog for you guys. And I feel like it was like a couple of months ago. I guess maybe it was like a month ago, Dennis's birthday maybe. I don't know, but it has been a long time. Now for those of y'all who follow me on Twitter, I'm on Twitter a lot. So if you're not following me on Twitter, my links are down below. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I post on Twitter a lot more than I do Instagram. I just, I'm in love with Twitter. What can I say? But I have been putting updates on Twitter here and there. Um, the reason why I have not gotten many videos up for those of y'all who've been watching me for a while and you keep up with all of my life updates that I put up throughout the year, it's because I go to school full time and I work full time. It is incredibly, incredibly hard to get videos up. So it is summer now for me anyway. So uh, for those of y'all who don't know, I work at our local high school and I worked as the in-school suspension instructor. And this was my last year. In fact, my last day was yesterday and school is over for me now. In fact, I will no longer be working there. I have been there for about the past two and a half years. And before that, I was substitute teaching and it's come to an end. Um, so again, a little bit of recap because I do have a lot of subscribers since the last update. Um, I go to school full time. I have a full time course load. I go online and I'm getting my degree in social work, my bachelor's degree in social work. So um, I have one last year to go, two semesters. And to finish out my degree, I have to intern somewhere for a year. So basically work for free. So it'll kind of be like I'm still working, but I'm working for free. It's interning. Um, but I, I'm not going to be able to work full time um, with me having to intern. So I had to quit my job at the high school. And I have to say, I've been complaining about the job forever because if you've not worked in in-school suspension, or we just call it ISS, it is a very stressful job. You deal with children that have behavioral issues. A lot of times it's the same kids week after week that you get. Um, some of them are not, you know, bad kids. I would say the majority, though, have issues, and it's a very stressful job. I have the personality type for it, and I have to say I really transformed the ISS room at our school like no other. Nobody stays. It's a very high turnover position. Uh, they can't even get substitute teachers in that room anymore. It's that stressful. And uh, if you're not the right personality for the job, you know, no one is going to last. So I probably have lasted in that, in that job more than, longer than anybody else. And when I first got there two and a half years ago, the room was chaotic. Uh, it was like something almost out of Dangerous Minds. If you've not seen the movie, watch the movie. Maybe not that hardcore because our high school, um, is one of the best schools in the state, really. It's a great high school. It's just ISS only. Just that room, the room I run, is very similar to the classroom in Dangerous Minds. <laughs> so when I first got there that first day, I swear I wanted to quit. And it took a lot. Like, it took me figuring out how to run that room where the kids would respect me. They'd actually listen to me. And I'm not even joking. From the time that I first got there until now, that room is completely different. It, it, it I run it completely different than I used to. I have that room on point. Uh, I have no problems with children in there anymore. They may act bad for their teachers, but when they come in there, I get full respect. And I'm not great at a lot of things, but I have to pat myself on the back for the job I did in ISS. For that reason alone, it was kind of sad for me to leave. It was kind of bittersweet. Now I say 90% of me is very, very happy to be done with that job. I didn't love the job and it was very stressful. But um, there's a small part of me that's pretty sad about leaving just because like I said, I feel like I put in so much work and time and effort into that room and I feel like someone's gonna come in like a new person and completely ruin what I took so long to work on to fix. Um, because like I said, it takes a special person to work that job and no one stays long enough to like perfect it. If the light's a little dim, guys, I'm sorry, it's really cloudy outside and I didn't feel like setting up all my lights just for a casual video like this. Um, but the lighting is really bad in here, so sorry. But if you were to ask the students at our high school what they thought about me, 
because I asked them towards the end of the year. Um, they would say they're scared to death. They know it in a hot second I will write them up or have them suspended. But at the same time, most of them loved me and respected me. And it's because I talked to them just like they talked to me. And I, if you go in there and be all prim and proper like a little perfect school teacher, it's not going to work for ISS. So that's it to sum it up. I did a good job. I did a fantastic job and it was kind of sad to go. A lot of students did not want me to leave. Um, but I must go on to the next phase of my life, right? And so that is starting in August. So that's why I kind of want to give this update. I like to do these two or three times a year just to kind of tell you like what's been going on, what's going to be going on, um, things like that. And I'll probably do another one of these at the end of summer, but I just kind of wanted to, um, ramble and talk a lot and so i hope you guys like rambling and long videos because this may be long get some popcorn or a snack or something but i honestly haven't sat down with y'all in so long i feel like i'm all over the place and i have so much to update y'all on and just chit chat um but so real quick in august i'll be starting my internship and whenever my classes start back in august and like I said, two semesters of that. The first semester, I'm hoping that I have it worked out where I only have to go to my internship um, two days a week. And then the second semester, I have to get more credit hours of interning. So I probably am going to have to do three days a week. And people keep saying, oh, it shouldn't be too hard, right? You're not going to be working full time. You'll have plenty of time for your internship and your schoolwork. No, it's actually going to be worse. Because in ISS, basically, I was a babysitter. So I had five days a week, Monday through Friday, eight hours a day in ISS where I did my schoolwork. And I basically got done with the majority of it. Very rarely, but every once in a while, I had to do a little bit of extra studying and schoolwork at nights or on the weekend. But I mean, for the most part, I got it all done Monday through Friday. Now, once my internship starts, if I'm still wanting to try to get my schoolwork done Monday through Friday, well, I'm going to be at my internship two days a week like for the whole day. So that only leaves me three days a week at home, you know, between Monday and Monday through Friday, three days a week where I'm used to five. And I don't feel like there's any way I can cram a full-time course load of schoolwork into three days. Even if I start it the second the kids get on the school bus to the second they come home, you know, I spend eight hours just hitting it hard. I just don't think I'm going to be able to do it in three days, especially because I have never taken four classes at one time. And from August to October, I'm going to have four classes and three days a week to do it. Now, after October, I'll just go back to three classes a week like I usually do. Um, but then in the spring semester, I'm only going to be home two days a week, Monday through Friday, for schoolwork. So I have a feeling that this coming up year is actually going to be way harder on me than this past year. So if y'all thought I did a crappy job on getting up videos for y'all, Beware, because come August, I'm going to be good just to get up my little measly grocery haul for y'all every week. I know I did a lot of that this, this past year, but it's rough. Like, if you work full time, it's hard enough to get videos up. So, you, you YouTube vloggers that vlog full time, you know what I'm talking about. It's hard to get videos up. But stacking, like, an internship program and a buttload of schoolwork, like, it's going to be hard. So, I have a feeling I'm going to have a lot of late nights and weekends and, like, no life come fall working on schoolwork and stuff. But it'll be worth it. It's my last two semesters and I will be finished. Then the only hard task I'm going to have after that is sitting for my licensing exam for the state of Mississippi. You have to sit for your licensing exam to get your social work license and... That's really, really, really hard. I, I've heard horror stories about that exam. So, but I'll focus on that later. I'm just trying to get through school. Okay, let's see. So, Andre just finished sixth grade. His first year in middle school is over. And so, he'll be starting seventh grade next year. And his grades, kind of so-so. Um, he's never been just a great, great student. He hates school and he hates studying. And I told him, I said, look, you've never had to study much in elementary school, but when you start middle school, it's a whole different ball game, buddy. Um, but he's just kind of lazy, to be honest. He's really lazy and he did not want to study. And I told him, I know you don't want to study. Who wants to study? I don't want to study. I hate studying. It sucks, but it's a part of life. You have to do that if you want decent grades. His grades were average. They were just average. Um, but he starts football in the fall. Now he's 
Y'all know he's been playing football since he was like in second grade, but that's just for like our city league. So he's going to be starting playing for the school for the first time ever in the fall. So that's going to be exciting going to some of those games. And then my oldest son, Isaac, he just finished his first year in high school. He will be in 10th grade next year. Oh my gosh, y'all. Like the older you get, time passes faster and faster and it, it scares me to death. Like I can't, I could do a whole video on how scared I am of time passing fast. Like, it needs to slow down just a little bit. This past year does not feel like it was nine months of a school year. It feels like it was like four or five. I'm not even kidding. Like, it flew by. So, to think that he only has three more years of high school scares me to death. Like, I'm not ready for him to leave the nest. That's just frightening. It's, it's totally frightening. Y'all, I'm taking him to go um, do his learner's permit test. This summer, I'm hoping to in the next couple of days, actually. I don't know if he'll pass it or not. I've been on his case about studying for it, right? And he procrastinates. He procrastinates. So I don't know if he'll pass it the first time. Keep your fingers crossed. Say a prayer. I want him to pass it the first time because the sooner he passes it, we can start legally riding around and getting him like some experienced driving because he's not experienced like at all. All we've done is we've gone to big empty parking lots in the past so I can at least get him used to being behind the wheel. And he kind of mastered that last summer in parking and stuff like that. But I mean, we haven't even done that in a year, to be honest. We haven't had time. So we've got to start all over. And um, he wants to get a job this summer. Is that not crazy? Because see, he's in the band. And so once the school year starts, he really doesn't have time for a job. He has band practice after school, football games on Friday. They have lots of competitions on Saturdays. And he's my nerd child. He's one, he didn't love school, but he wants to keep his grades up. And he's mostly an A student, an AB student for sure. And to keep those grades up and deal with being in the band, he's not really going to have time for a job through the school year. Maybe one day a week, maybe two and that's pushing it. Um, so he wants to work as much as he can over the summer and save up a lot of money. This video is getting extremely long, oh my goodness. Um, but it's just crazy how fast the kids are growing up. Y'all won't necessarily see them in a lot of videos because once you have teenagers, they really don't care to be on camera. I mean, some don't care, but they don't really care for being on camera. I mean, Isaac usually doesn't say anything. If I happen to capture him, he's sweet about it. Andre, on the other hand, he's a difficult child. Let me just put it like that. You know, they always say if you have two kids, they're completely different. Mine couldn't be more different. Could not be more different. They're opposite in every single way, like, possible that I can think of. I can't even think of one thing they have in common. Yeah, talking about time passing fast, I am praying that this summer drags by. It probably won't because the school year flew by. A whole entire school year flew by. So I doubt two little measly months in the summer are going to go slow. But I'm not ready for a whole nother school year to start and my kids to grow up. And I'm not ready to start back to school myself. I need a mental break. Like it's so nice to be done with work and be done with school over the summer. So speaking of, if y'all remember from last summer, I always promise y'all three videos a up a week in the summer and I stick to my schedule that shows on my in slate of my videos, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Well, last summer I promised y'all that and I actually stuck to that like the whole entire summer. I had a video up every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday every week the whole entire summer. Always on time. In fact, I got to the point I was a week ahead on videos. It was freaking awesome. So that's kind of my goal this summer. I want to get up three videos of a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and I want to get to the point that I'm a week ahead because I have just learned if you can be a week ahead, there's no stress. You already have videos edited, uploaded, uh, scheduled to go out, ready to go. You don't have to rush and figure out what video you're going to get up. Um, if you get a little behind, that's okay. You're already a week ahead. So I'm going to still have my grocery haul Wednesdays. Because I have some people that watch my channel just for my hauls. And they do really well on my channel. And so I want to keep doing the grocery haul Wednesdays. Um, and that's easy. I don't even hardly really count that as a video because I'm already laying my food out from the, my grocery shopping trip anyway. I might as well pull out a camera to film it, right? So that's really no big deal video. It's the videos that need to go up for Monday and Fridays that I have to concentrate on. My goal really would be to do a sit-down video a week and a vlog a week. 
because there are some people who prefer vlogs and there's some people who prefer videos like this, like a one-on-one -on -one type of more personal interaction. So I wanna try to make everybody happy, but you're gonna be seeing um, other hauls, you know, random hauls too, uh, Dollar Tree hauls, clothes shopping hauls, um, my planner addict box, and I actually have something that might be changing with that over the summer, so be on the lookout for that. I may do a couple of plan with me's. I don't have a huge planner community following on my channel because I started those videos much later. Like I had already been doing YouTube for like two years before I ever started those videos. So a lot of people don't watch my channel for that, but some people really enjoy it. So I don't even care if I get five views on a channel. Like a lot of people are on YouTube to make money, I may never make money from this channel. I hardly make anything right now. I do this because I just love it. It's a hobby. It is fun to do. It's fun to interact with people. I've gotten to know people so well over the last few years, it would almost just be sad to stop interacting with them. And I just enjoy making videos. I love it. Like, if I had more time through the school year, I would definitely put up more. Because it's, it's not that I don't enjoy it. It's that I don't have the time through the school year. But I love making videos. And I love the memories. Me and my husband go back and watch old videos all the time. Like, I love them. So, um, I just, I don't care if I get even five views on a channel. I want to make everybody happy that watches my, my channel. So, but I do want y'all to leave me some ideas down below for what y'all personally like. I have not done a day in the life video in at least a year, maybe over a year. I was doing them every few months or maybe every six months at least. I haven't done one in forever. I'm not even kidding. People love those. Um, and I like doing those. So, I try to get a day in the life up. Um, you may see my niece a lot this summer, more than my own kids. Y'all seen her in past summers in lots of videos because I keep my niece over the summer. This may be one of the last summers I keep her too. Um, next summer, I may be working out in the field. I may have my career already started once I get my license for social work. Okay, I have no idea what I was saying because I just ran out of room on my memory card, so I had to take care of that issue. Um, this video is going to be extremely long. <laughs> it is so long. Oh, so I was talking about keeping my niece. So this may be the last summer that I'm able to do that. She's getting older anyway. Um, so I really won't have much of a need to keep her. I mentioned a while back that I was kind of going back and forth on where I wanted to intern at. Um, it came down to a couple of, um, number one picks for me. And I interviewed with a couple of places and I actually ended it after that. I was going to go interview with like a bunch of places and decide, but I was so like, I so had my mind made up with just the two that I interviewed with. I didn't want to go anywhere else. And they both accepted me. So I had to make a choice. So I could either work at one of our um, local youth jails, basically. It's like a youth detention center jail. Um, and I actually used to substitute teach at one because they, they do schooling in there. It's, it's, you know, underage kids. So um, I loved it. It seems depressing. You have to get used to the metal doors slamming behind you and bars on the windows. Um, but again, that is so for me. My personality type fits it. I think I did great in that job. I loved it. I loved it so much. And so I really see myself in the future possibly working full time in a jail um, doing like probation officer slash counselor type of position. So I had an opportunity to shadow a guy at our local youth jail. Um, that, that was his job title. He was a probation officer slash counselor for the youth. Um, so that was my number one pick along with my other number one pick of just working in child protective services. Now, child protective services, at least in our area, has extremely high turnover rates because there are more cases than employees and the workload is so high and stressful, everyone just quits. Um, I feel like that's one of my passions also to work with Child Protective Services and I see myself staying a long time, um, but I've never worked out in the field doing that. So I have no idea, I may start it and hate it. Um, and I feel like it is definitely not for everyone. You got to have a very thick skin, um, which I do. So that was also one of my top picks. Uh, I had a lot of people tell me in the social work field that even if you do not work, like 
as your career in child protective services, at least interning is great, great social work experience. You learn so much about the social work field. Um, you learn how to completely humble yourself because you don't realize how hard it is for people out there until you've done child protective services. And you, I've heard people that say they saw things that they'll never unsee, that they have nightmares to this day from things that they saw and witnessed interning in that field, but it is great, great life experience and work experience. So hearing that from so many people kind of made me want to go that route. So I won't get into details uh, what area of child protective services that um, I'm going to be working in, but that is where I decided to do my internship. So I'm going to be spending the next two semesters, my last year of school, in child protective services. Um, but like I said, I'm not going to go into specifics about which location or because we have a lot of child protective services locations in our area, in our, our state, in different counties. So I'm not going to go into specific details on which one or what department or area it is, but just I'm going to leave it general like that. Child protective services. CPS for short. So if you hear me say CPS, you'll know what I'm talking about. I'm trying to think what I need y'all to update. So, okay, so last summer was kind of a busy summer for us. I feel like even though I had no school or work, I felt like last summer was busy. I, like, I felt like I was working. I felt like I had a job. I stayed so busy. I don't know how I stayed so busy. But this summer is going to be a little bit calmer. Um, so last summer I got my wisdom teeth out, like right at the very end of summer. And I vlogged that. That was hilarious. Y'all have to watch that if y'all haven't. Dennis got his wisdom teeth out through the year, too. That was hilarious. I vlogged that as well. Um, oh, and we went to Destin, Florida for like a mini vacation. I don't think we're going to be going on any mini vacation this summer. If we do, it literally would be just that. It would be like a weekend somewhere. I don't think that we have any kind of things like that planned. Um, just because I'm not, like I said, I'm not working for a whole year. So, so we're not trying to plan like too many big trips or anything. So I don't know that we're going to be going anywhere. It's really just going to be a chill summer. I'm going to try to relax, clear my mind, take this mental, much needed mental break, film a lot of videos for y'all, hopefully. Um, I would love to read some books. That's kind of a funny tidbit. I've mentioned that in some videos. I haven't mentioned that in a long time though, but one um, fact about me is that I love to read. Like, I love to read. Um, when I was young, I used to read a ton. I don't have time to read now. When I finally have like breaks and um, time to just relax, I usually just choose sitting down watching Netflix or something. I just don't have time, the time to read anymore, but I love reading. I love mystery novels. Um, so, I don't know. I have several mystery novels that actually some books that I purchased, books I um, got for free in different random places. And so, I really would like, I would love to try to get a few of those read um, over the summer. Um, I am going to take the kids to this place. It's called Roosevelt State Park. We actually vlogged there a couple summers ago. Um, but they have like a swimming pool and like a big water slide. It's not like a the kind of water slide you'd see like at a big water park, but it's pretty fun. And um, we had a blast and we don't have a swimming pool around us. So I don't know, I guess if we don't go on any kind of vacation, I don't think we are. I probably at least should try to take the kids somewhere like that a few times. And Dennis never got a chance to go. I think he would have a blast. My brother would have fun, so we might do that. Might get together with my brother some over the summer and just like eat crawfish or shrimp or something like that. I think I'm going to take advantage of some date nights just because, like I said, when school starts back in the fall, it's going to be so crazy for me that I just don't feel like I'm going to have any kind of a life or time to do anything. So I definitely want to take advantage of that um, date nights and stuff. And this lighting is just horrendous. Ugh. Um, so yeah, I think I want to take some date nights over the summer and have some family nights and things like that. So, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I mean, this video is so extremely long already. So I guess that's it, guys. This video is already extremely long. If you've made it to this point, I appreciate you very much. And um, help me get to a 1,000 subscribers this summer. I think that would be an awesome way to like end the summer. I'm at 860, I think, or something like that. And for most people on YouTube, that seems super tiny. And I will say my channel has grown so slow. But compared to when I started at zero subscribers, I think 860 is pretty good. Um, like I said, I do this as a hobby. 
so I don't have to have a thousand. It's not going to kill me. I just think that'd be really cool. Um, my channel has grown slowly, though. I feel like if you have newborns, toddlers, or you're pregnant, your channel grows quicker. I mean, that, that's, I think, what a lot of people are wanting to see. Um, but I'd like to just keep it real on uh, what life is like with teenagers. You know, I want to do videos this summer on teenage issues. Um, a lot of people out there have teenage kids or want to know what it's going to be like when their kids are teenagers. Um, also, I just like to do videos on me and me and my husband. And people are really entertained by Dennis. They think he's freaking hilarious. And he is. He cracks me up every day of my life. So yeah, I just, I do think it would be awesome to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of summer. That would be cool. So share my videos if, if you like me. Share my videos. But that's it. Um, like I said, this video is way too long as it is, but I haven't talked to y'all in so long. I feel like I kind of needed to do this just to catch up with y'all. Like this feels so weird. I have not filmed a video in forever. Like really, I haven't. So thanks so much for watching guys and be looking out for my next video. I plan to see a lot more of y'all over the summer. And please comment, like, subscribe, and share, and leave video ideas down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!